I used to hate Sundays. My anxiety would be through the roof thinking about the upcoming work week and Sunday scaries would be real. So I decided in 2022 to change the way I viewed Sundays, make them less about stress and more about self-care, taking care of myself and doing things that just make me happy. There are 52 Sundays in a year, so let's take back time for ourselves in 2022. Welcome to my selfish Sunday routine. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. Like, I can't contain my excitement. It is my favorite day of the month. Well, it's my favorite day of the week, but it's my favorite day of the month because today I'm taking you guys along on what I like to call my selfish Sunday routine, which is basically one Sunday a month. Sometimes it's not even Sunday. Sometimes it's Saturdays, Mondays, whenever, where the day is just for me. I do whatever I want. It's a selfish day. Matt stays home or does whatever he wants. And I just like have a day of self care and doing things for myself. And I'm so excited to take you guys along. This idea was inspired by a TikTok that I saw back in December of this girl who said that three years ago she started doing selfish Sunday routines and it changed her life. I'll put her TikTok right here on the screen because I take full credit from her. I love the idea and so I want to take you guys along because I feel like the Sunday scaries are such a thing and lately in the last few months I've been having such bad Sunday scaries and this is just like change the game. I like look forward to Sundays now. Like I said, I only do it about once a month just because obviously my weekends are my me time. They're my time off work. They're my time to hang out with Matt, enjoy my relationship. But once a month on a Sunday, doesn't matter which Sunday, I have like a me day and I'm so excited to take you guys along on it. It's going to be so fun. I say this all the time, but this is just a reminder that everyone's routine is so different. My Sunday reset, my, my self-care routine like today, my morning routine, my night routine is tailored to me. And I want you guys to watch this and get inspired by the overall thought of it and not necessarily what I'm doing because, you know, we're also going to go to a bookstore and that might not bring people joy or maybe joy to you is like making a fresh cup of coffee and not buying one you know what i mean so i want you guys before we get into the video to sit down and brainstorm like what your ideal self-care day would look like and then do it for yourself it could be once a week it could be once a month it could be every two weeks it could be whenever you want but i'm so excited to get into today's video so the first thing we do on selfish sundays is we sleep in it's 8 30 but that's sleeping in for me and i just woke up on our new sheets we actually got brooklyn in sheets about a week ago and i'm so obsessed with them i'm about them a little bit later on but they're so comfy and soft i love the color it's like this checker and it's just like a nice way to spice up white sheets okay pro tip i have for you guys is to change your sheets saturday and not sunday because then you wake up sunday in fresh sheets and nothing beats it like going to bed on saturday night once you like taking like a nice luxurious shower in fresh sheets nothing beats it so we change our sheets on Saturdays and then that way when we wake up Sunday, we have like nice fresh sheets and nothing beats it. It just puts you in the best mood. So that's tip number one, but I'll talk to you guys more about Brooklyn and when we make the bed in a little bit. Let's go make a coffee. We've got the morning lineup. These are my beans I've been using. They're from a local coffee shop in Ottawa. I love them. I just got a glass. And then obviously you guys know we make our cold brew in like a French press overnight. It's so easy. You just let it steep overnight. And then you have yourself some cold brew or it's coffee, whatever you want to call it. Mm -mm. Ooh, a splash of milk. And I just usually will take my greens. I've been super into athletic greens. I'm not going to show you guys in this. This isn't a health vlog, but I really love athletic greens. I've been taking their um, their daily greens, and I really like them, so I'll take those as well. A nice little iced coffee. And then typically I bring my coffee upstairs and then grab whatever book I'm reading. I'm currently reading Greenwich Park by Katherine Faulkner. It's a really great thriller, and I'll sit in bed and read because I obviously don't get to do this during the week. do a face mask or like eye patches i have these pixie eye patches that i like to use and they also have the mask of magnum minty by lush i think i'm gonna do this one today because my skin's dry and it's like a little bit of an exfoliator but yeah on sundays we self-care it up here 
All right, face mask is on. I love this one because when you think of a face mask, I always think of like green or blue. So I love this one. It's also minty, so it's like really cooling. They have a dookie beans in them, which are basically like tiny little exfoliants. You guys know I have super sensitive skin and this is the only thing I can use to exfoliate. So I love this. Obviously you should keep it on for like 10 minutes or so. There is now. This is like my daily sunscreen here, Cosmetics Force Shield. I love it. It's like a green tint. So if you have red skin like me, it's super awesome. I just got ready for the day. Um, I obviously don't get ready every Sunday. I try to let my skin breathe on the weekends, but the one Sunday month that I do my little selfish Sunday, I get ready because I'm going to go out and do some fun, fun things. So got ready, curled my hair, put some earrings on. Now we need to go make the bed. Ready? Time to make the bed. Fun fact, we let our bed breathe for like an hour or two every morning just to like let all the, you know, sweat and stuff like get out. I never make the bed as soon as we get up. But you guys already heard me talk about how much I love Brooklyn and, and they're actually sponsoring today's video, which is absolutely wild. They're one of my dream brands to work with. They're on like my dream brand bucket list. Like I can't believe I'm saying that Brooklyn and is sponsoring today's video. It's absolutely unreal. If you guys don't know, Brooklinen is an online bedding company. They have a curated collection of luxury bedding at an affordable price point, which you guys know we love. As a new homeowner, let me tell you how important good bedding is, okay? When we bought our house, we bought like $5 sheets and they were so uncomfortable. And trust me, okay, investing in your bedding is like one of the best things that you can do that nobody tells you about when you move out for the first time or buy your house or anything like that. Linen is founded on the philosophy that people just deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup, and that's exactly what they do. Comparable sheets cost upwards of about $500 for like a sheet set, and Bro Brooklinen sheet sets cost between $200 and $250, and let me tell you guys, y'all need to invest in your bedding, okay? It is so life-changing. Not paying that like luxury markup, but you're still getting the luxury feel of your sheets. You guys, I'm obsessed with them. Okay, they're the comfiest things we have ever slept on before, and I'm gonna make the bed and tell you a bit more about why I love them. They're amazing. They're really cooling, which is something super cool. Matt is like a really hot person, and like, let me tell you, I think you guys can relate that there's nothing better than sleeping on like a cold pillow, and these sheets are so cooling, but also keep you warm. I've never experienced anything like it. It's truly quite amazing. Um, also, something else, if you guys have pets, I don't know how they do this, or if they even meant to do this, as know we have a black lab and her fur sticks to sheets so bad but with Brooklinen I can literally just like brush it and it comes off I don't know how they do it honestly these sheets are literally life-changing but her fur doesn't like stick to the sheets it just kind of like comes off which is a game changer and it's why we can have light sheets like this because of Brooklinen I also love that you can shop Brooklinen sheets from the comfort of your home you have the ability to mix and match over 20 colors and patterns for the classic or luxe core sheet set extra pillowcases and duvet covers which is great they truly have something for everyone whether you like neutrals you like a little bit of color or you like patterns like we do there's something for everybody and I have never slept better than I do with Brooklyn and sheets. And like that's saying a lot because I do not sleep through the night normally. I usually wake up at least once or twice with a nightmare. And for the last week I've slept through the night every single night, okay? Honestly could not recommend them more. And like I said, I think investing in your sheets is so important as someone who's moving out for the first time or buying their house for the first time. I wish I could tell myself a year ago to invest in these because it's truly life-changing. And Brooklyn was super kind and gave me a really great discount code for you guys. So you guys can get $20 off your order of $100 or more by going to the link below and using the code on the screen. Once again, thank you so much, Brooklyn, for sponsoring today's video. It's a dream come true, honestly. Like, I can't believe it. And like, how cute, okay? How cute and fun and bright, but also like a little bit of a pattern. I'm obsessed, dressed, and ready for our adventure of the day. I just had to tell you guys how much I love our sheets because they're life-changing. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Outfit of the day. You could have guessed it. I'm wearing my typical H&M sweater with my typical Princess Polly pants doesn't get any more me than this outfit and then I'm gonna throw some socks on and then I just threw on this Ana Luisa ring and like I said I have my little old navy hoops in and it's just like a cute casual but like I tried a little bit today. Obviously we're in the car now I'm heading out to run my little like errands slash like afternoon portion of this and then I'll end this after this because typically in the evenings I like to just spend time with Matt and relax um if Matt like for example was working overtime or something I'd have a whole ass evening with some wine dance in the kitchen I mean I still will do that don't get me wrong but I try and like have like a little self-care like first part of the day and then spend the afternoon with Matt of course because the weekends are our only time to spend together but I do think especially in a relationship having independence is so important and and it's why I also wanted to share this video with you guys because 
it's so important to take care of yourself outside of your relationship and to have you time. You know what I mean? So we're going to go out. I have a few exciting things that I want to do. This portion of like my selfish Sunday kind of changes. Like for example, sometimes I'll go to a workout class. I had a spin class book this morning. It got canceled due to the protest that's still going on. I wanted to try a new coffee shop. It got canceled because of the protest going on. Like it's always a bit different. So usually I'll like go grab a coffee. Maybe I'll sit in a coffee shop and read. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go grab a green juice, which is something I don't do often. And a financial tip for you guys. I feel like when you have these like little monthly routines it's a great way to kind of like indulge without overspending and I'm not really someone who would want like a green juice every week but I always kind of look forward to it at the end of the month you know what I mean like I have a full treat myself day and that helps keep me on track throughout the month I find so random financial tip for you guys I feel like indulging every once in a while helps keep me on track so we're gonna get a green juice I'm gonna check out the bookstore at the mall the bookstore I wanted to go to in our suburbs is actually closed on Sundays and Mondays which is kind of sad and then yeah that's like really it i just like to get out of the house and have a little me time and i'm really excited to take you guys along sometimes i'll get a coffee today i'm really feeling a green juice and yeah it's a really warm day here today it's only minus five out which is so warm for ottawa so i'm gonna take you guys along on our little like self-care errands and then we're gonna come home and then i'll end this vlog off How cute is this shirt? It's in the men's section, but car. Um, I didn't get anything, but you guys saw our bookstore finally has like mystery books and I love that I've been waiting for a bookstore to get it and they do so the indigo at plaster Orleans has them But I picked up a green juice at booster juice. I want to go to this local Green juice place that's nearby, but they're closed for the winters, which I find funny This is hail to the kale it has like kale lemon ginger apple Celery maybe just got a green juice. Didn't get anything. I did have a return to do though, and I just like walked around HM. And honestly, this is the thing about like a little selfish Sunday, self-care day, whatever. You don't have to buy anything. Like browsing the bookstore is my favorite part. It's not buying the books, it's browsing. But I did have an online order to pick up. So I want to show you guys what I got. It's just a toque, and I'm so excited to support local because obviously, with everything going on, I wanted to just support some of the stores that were downtown in Ottawa. And BB Co is one of my favorites. I've actually worked with them before, and I just loved this toque. So we're kind of getting to the end of winter here. It's February, but I just wanted a bit of a warmer toque. The one I have from Marshalls is like knit, so the holes are really big. So I want something a little warmer, and I loved this color. So this is what it looks like. It's just, I, I think it's in pink quartz or something, um, but it's so cute. And it fits really good, and I just like the color. It's so cute. So anyways, uh, that was like my fun purchase of the day. And now I'm going to slowly make my way home. I don't really need anything. I just like to get out of the house, and, you know, I really just love walking around the bookstore, even if I don't get anything. It's really, truly just absolutely divine. So I think I might go home and, like, I lied i stopped to get lunch but you know what the whole point of this is it doesn't need to be anything like extravagant and bougie i just got like a four dollar dlt from tim hortons it's like one of my favorite things to eat and i'm just gonna have lunch with myself and enjoy my own company and i think that is so important especially in a relationship to be independent and just enjoy being by yourself time by yourself be comfortable being alone and i think that to me that's kind of what my selfish sundays are all about is spending time with myself i'm listening to a podcast i'm super obsessed with fatal voyage um specifically the princess diana one i after finishing the crown i'm just obsessed with british royalty does anyone else fixate on like shows it's not great but i love it listening to fatal voyage for the first time in 2020 when they covered the death of natalie wood and now I'm listening to Fatal Voyage, the um, Princess Diana one, obviously. So I'm just sitting here. I'm on episode two. It's a really great podcast all about just Princess Diana and her marriage to Prince Charles and her death, obviously. And yeah, we're going to stay here. We're going to eat our BLT. I even treated myself to an apple fritter. Like we're just, we're living it up today. And like I said, this needs to be expensive or anything. Honestly, I think the best part 
to me is like a nice four dollar BLT and walking around a bookstore. So I'm very excited to eat this. Tim Hortons BLTs just really hit different. Like, look at that. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna eat this, listen to my podcast, spend time with myself, turn off the camera, and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. So just a reminder before this video ends, because I'm that obsessed with these sheets, that you can head to my link in the description and use the code Carter to get $20 off your order of $100 or more to get some dreamy sheets like these once again thank you so much brooklyn for sponsoring today's video guys i'm back at home obviously and i'm gonna end the vlog off here which i know it might be shorter than my normal videos but there's a purpose to that and it's because i know what it's like to watch a sunday reset or a morning routine or a night routine and people just jam pack that video with stuff right i'm sure they do some of it on a daily basis but all that stuff all the time like i just i want this to be realistic for you guys and if i keep adding stuff in it's not gonna be a realistic selfish Sunday routine because half the time do I even stretch? No. Half the time do I get a workout in? No. Literally 2 p.m. and I'm gonna probably spend the next four hours reading, no shame about it, but I don't wanna like sit here and be like, yeah, I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna do all that stuff because I'm just not gonna do it. It's, it's my Sunday, it's my time to be selfish and that means I'm gonna spend the whole afternoon reading and you're gonna do what brings you joy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the message behind it. I think it's super important to take time for ourselves and be independent and spend time with ourselves because we're really all that we have at the end of the day and our relationship with ourselves is the most important thing in the world and I hope you guys can see that by this video but I just changed into comfy clothes I'm wearing a sweater and my Mickey Mouse PJs and I'm gonna spend the afternoon reading and I'm really excited about it so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys next time bye